This is Utricularia prelonga, a really unique species of Utricularia from South America. It has two distinct leaf morphologies, and I think it's unique in the genus in that respect. It's got these low-lying uh, photosynthetic stolons that are more what you would expect from Utricularia, but then it also puts up these tall grass-like leaves, which are really cool. When they're fully grown in, they can be uh, five to six inches tall. This species is not super common, and until recently, I hadn't seen almost anyone who had flowered it. I flowered it myself at home last year, but this season I've seen a lot of other people with uh, pictures of, of flowers from Uprelanga. So that might just be a factor of its being more common in cultivation, so more people have grown it to maturity. We flowered it for the first time this year, and we got a lot of flowers, uh, a couple dozen as you can see. This is a really interesting flowering habit. The flower stalks are really long, so this is about a foot and a half maybe, uh, and they kind of droop down. So uh, unless you support them with stakes, you're kind of going to get them all over the place. I've seen a few people grow it in a hanging basket-like situation. So then they come down like a certain orchid species, which is kind of cool. The flowers themselves are really nice. They're like an extra large Utricularia subulata flower. So they're bright, bright yellow. They've got this nice ruffled petal in the bottom and a pretty decent spur. Uh, and they're big. They're more than a quarter inch wide, not quite half an inch, but uh, as you can see, they're not, they're not small at all. And it produces two to three on a flower stalk, maybe, maybe four in the fullness of time, but it usually only holds one or two on the stalk at a time before the petals drop. But it's a really fun species and we've enjoyed growing it. And it's, you know, you cultivate it like a regular terrestrial utricularia, just in peat and sand sitting in a tray of water. We've got ours in our highland room, which is probably appropriate because it's from South America, but uh, it might do fine in warm temperatures. I've just never grown it that way. So that is Utricularia prelonga, and uh, thank you for watching.